close. So, uh, essential for the uh, maintenance of health, production, breeding, and other things. So, the importance of nutrition uh, need not be uh, re emphasized. Then, uh, as I said earlier, besides catering to the body requirements, milk also contains good amount of calcium, good amount of uh, protein, good amount of fat. And for milk to be rich in all these things, the feed should be rich in all these things. So that's the importance of a good feeding program and a good feeding balanced diet. Now if you see the uh, prevailing feeding system, as I said earlier, prevailing feeding system also farmer is feeding all the ingredients. He's feeding the concentrated cakes, he's feeding bran, he's feeding byproducts, he's feeding rice straw, he's also giving the water. All depending upon the availability of these feed stuffs and also the effort of it. Now, let me give a brief introduction about what is acidosis, what happens, you know, uh, because we have developed breeds for better production, we cannot let the animals survive on just drink water. So we need to supplement that with starch, uh, I mean grains. These grains mostly contain starch which are rapidly digested. Once the rapid digestion happens in the woman, there is a higher buildup of acid, VFA buildup, lactic acid buildup. And this causes a problem known as acidosis or SARA, or subclinical rumen acidosis. And now once the lactic acid builds up, the rumen pH goes down to 5.5. And once the rumen pH goes down to 5.5, there is a considerable amount of histamine release, and this histamine release in turn causes laminitis, and this laminitis is again linked to breeding problems. So this is a vicious cycle. I just wanted to uh, mention this thing, although it is quite scientific. The effect of uh, acidosis is uh, Roman stasis, the animal doesn't take feed, dehydration, hemorrhages, bloat, ruminitis, the rumen wall gets damaged, that is a laminitis, leading to bleeding problems. This is a small diagram about how the lactic acid and acidosis uh, happens in the cycle. Now, this is how the laminitis also happens uh, because the stamen is released and the stamen causes the poop deterioration and laminitis. And as uh, the instruction process, uh, it was told that. Uh, Hoof and foot plays a very significant role in determining uh, animal's uh, productivity. Now, if you see, uh, laminitis will definitely cause a drop in the yield. Now, the solution, because the, we have seen the most of the problems of uh, acidosis due to feed, acidosis, uh, laminitis, and the reproductive problems, then the solution also should come. Now, the bodily analysis of the production also has uh, its uh, condition in the budget. We have practice in the yeah, why TMR as a, you know, TMR, TMR you can use all the rule here and then it's, this is how the this is how the one and three and thousand years, it's all the There are those that you and uh, you can uh, also remember this, uh, you can eliminate all the other, there's those problems, the problems, the problems, the problems. That is why we say free TMR. And there is also a full percent increase in milking, even uh, animals are not TMR. So I've got this pretty TMR. Uh, yes, uh, when you feed TMR, as I mentioned earlier, there is a distinct uh, improvement in the milk yield, not only in milk yield, milk quality. Let me see. I suppose the guidelines for how to formulate a TMR. I mean, the TMR is meant not for individual cows, TMR is meant for a group of cows. Now, some of the factors uh, that have to take into account when uh, designing a TMR is the stage of lactation to which particular animals are able to give. And then, early lactation, as you mentioned, the protein from the low, mid lactation, the protein from the baby lower. And the lactation of the protein comes a bit more lower. So, as you place on different types of animals, you have to design the TMI accordingly. Stage of lactation, right down to the cows, keepers, going down, all the parts of the different And uh, again, based on this, protein requirements, energy requirements, the vitamin requirements, the vitamin requirements, and the vitamin requirements. These are some of the important factors that you have to keep in mind. Because at the end of the day, the idea behind already a TMR or designing a TMR, the study cost more will Sustained, I get the uh, sustainable as well as uh, somebody was telling me we take more of uh, emphasis on the technology part of the nutrition part. The nutrition is the most important thing. Now, with uh, GMR3, we have introduced this GMR, we have manufactured GMR, we have preserved GMR, we are using it in Kerala. Now, we have fueled it in Kerala, and we use it in Kerala, this is how it goes. I'll give you more milk, I'll give you fertilizer, I'll do more of your words.
Farmers the feedback that we have got from farmers is initially they have got very good uh, result with regard to quality of milk. They have also got results with the quantity of milk and also the health condition of animals at this point. In short, most the about the feedback that we have received from uh, farmers of Kerala and farmers that came out that we have designed as a plus. Yeah. And uh, last, lastly, I would like to thank the farmers and the farmers very much as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.